Hey, this is the latest we've filmed in so long. It's like 5.30 p.m. Back in the day, before you were even fucking alive, sometimes I would film at like midnight. I hate you. What, what am I making fun of today? I forgot what this was called. Okay, so I was gonna do Love After Lockup, but I can't find the video, and it's late as shit, like I said. So we're just gonna make fun of those, uh, animal cunts. I don't even know what to call those. The Animorphs. The book where the kid would turn into a rat. That shit hits home. Did you know I have a second channel where I currently, right now, do podcasts? And also, we'll add other things onto that. Go check that shit out. The, uh, it's called Poppy Plus. The link for the channel is also in the description below, but, uh, it's just extra content. Go subscribe there. All right, let's hop into this. His mom, Mary Ellen, is a shaman. She believes she can communicate with the spirit world. Let's just start off with that, shall we? She can't. She can't. Nobody can. Just like nobody's a wolf. It's her fault. Be very careful, future parents. Like, we should test them. Like, okay, do you believe that you could talk to the dead? No? All right. No kid for you. You could maybe have a dog. I find that shamanism is not a religion, but it is a way of connecting with something deeper than yourself. It is a way of feeling that sense of the divine in this universe, and I honor everybody's path. And I feel the same way about what Caleb is doing. I, I think that that's a path that they'll take, and I think it'll evolve for them. Like a Pokemon? Don't fucking put that into his head. Also, where can I get one of those earrings? I would love to rock a peacock. Be really interesting to see what happens to him 10 years from now. <sighs> you better hope the purge is not real. Cause your kid's mental disorder is the first to go. The environment in this house is very warm and it's very open, uh, which is probably why a lot of my friends like coming over here and we like hanging out and doing things. Cause they're all red wolves. Me and all the red wolves hang out alone. It's a click. How we all know we're red wolves, you can't just tell somebody you're a red wolf, okay? Anybody could just say that. What we do is sniff each other's assholes. Now we try and pick up on this little hint of cinnamon. Caleb is not unique in his beliefs. He is part of a small Therian community of people in Buffalo. Doesn't that hurt to hear you're like, oh, that's not the only one? There's fucking more. Like, are there a lot there? Like, we should look to see if something's in the water. Maybe they all live under telephone poles. They include Stephen, a leopard, and Timothy, a raccoon. What are they gonna do, fucking discriminate? Are you kidding? No, no, <laughs> can you imagine? Like, we don't hang out with your kind. Together, they run an amateur radio show from his bedroom. Have me on. Have me on. Not in, the, not in the room. I need to fucking hear this. They better tell us what it is. It broadcasts to hundreds of people like them all around the world. That's what I do before every video. Yo. Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 102. I am your host of this evening, Paradox the Wolf. Oh, are you all gonna go around? I need to hear this. I am your blue fox host, Pharaoh. I am your co-host in training, Shroud the Leopard. I'm your guest, Minok the Raccoon. I just imagined me with my ears up next to the really thin wall of my child's bedroom. I hear this, and I slowly proceed to put a shotgun in my mouth. All right, next email that I got here. Uh, hey guys, my name is Kobe, and I am an orange, blue, and white male German Shepherd. What? You could just, that doesn't even exist. That doesn't make sense. I guess I literally could be a dragon with tits. Uh, I am also bisexual, and I am 19 years old, and I'm having some huge issues with my parents in relation to being Therian. Obviously. I think you telling your parents that you're a bisexual, most of them would be like, okay, okay, okay. That's totally fine. Let's, let's, this, this is new. Kind of hit us by surprise, but let's work through it. I really want to understand it and be there for you. I'm also a German Shepherd. Get the fuck out of my house. Is there any help explaining this to them? How did, how did you do it? <laughs> I don't even remember. Okay, totally bullshit, buddy. There's no way, you don't fucking remember being like, hey mom, I'm a, I'm a leopard. That should be your first memory. But these guys do not seem like the people you should be asking these questions to. Like, I get it, they have a podcast, but 
They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Hey, I'm having a real, real hard time coming up to my parents about being a dog. Uh, how did all of you go through it? Well, my mom beat the shit out of me and I ran away from home. Uh, my dad killed himself. Well, my mom is a demon prostitute, so she had no problem with it. Oh. I, I barely touched on it because my parents just didn't care. They just, my mom just wanted me to be safe. You know what that sounds like? Parents who don't give a fuck about you. Like if my kid walked up to me and was like, Dad, I jerk off to minions. I would just not do anything about it and let the world take care of it for me. My dad said that I could have whatever beliefs I wanted as long as I wasn't, uh, I wasn't hurting anyone. Oh, you're heading easy too. I guess that's good, but this is hurting me and my fucking thighs. Yeah, it was easy. When my mother found out, she asked me if she had done anything wrong as a parent. Bad question as a parent, because, like, the kid's gonna know. The answer's obvious, first of all. Yes, yeah, you fucking did. But the kid's not gonna be like, actually, I was, uh, July 11th at 3 p.m. It's when you beat the shit out of me with one of your flip-flops with barbecue sauce all over it. <laughs> and, and I was like, no. My parents always think, uh, the live and let live type is not the, as long as you're happy. Were you just talking like raccoon in the beginning there? I have no idea what you fucking said. Kind of people. Right. So, well, not as far as else. how I had to do it, it's not like I could offer advice from my personal experience. Yeah. Because I, I had it easy. Wow, just like I said, none of you gave any fucking advice. Caleb and his friends are fortunate that they are content feeling like animals. For others, though, this is not the case. I want to see the pain! Let's make it hurt! These are some of my wolf sharks. I've got probably over 50. This is my absolute favorite of them all, and it's got... You have over 50 wolf shirts? Okay, see, like, that's normal now compared to what's about to happen, probably. Like, I doubt he's gonna be like, you know what, since the camera's are on me, never mind. I'm fixed. One, one piece of advice for you. Uh, Matthew Shamel Shiro Wolf is just keep the 50 wolf shirts, man. Don't howl outside. It's one of my newer ones. It's got like the wolf in the moon and it's... It has the wolf in the mid? Why didn't... You don't have to tell me, first of all. I'm looking. Second of all, I feel, I feel like I've seen that shirt 100,000 times. That's like every motivational Instagram's wolf they pick. Like, you could lead the pack. Stray away from the nine to five. Be an alpha and join my pyramid scheme. The full body wolf and it's purple. This, I just love it, it's beautiful. 18 year old Matthew Schimmel lives in Brunswick, Georgia. That's my diploma from when I graduated high school and they had actually put Wolfie on the side of it. Them putting that at the end of your certificate was the easiest way to save that school from a shooting. This is really cool. This, when I turn it on, it will, It'll sound like a waterfall light up in the wolf will howl. It's getting there. So yeah, I've always loved this one. This one. Real cool. Yeah, that was really, really fucking sick. Okay, guys, that's, thank you so much for watching. That is the worst thing you could ever hang up on your wall. Clearly he has no idea how to decorate. I cannot take this any longer. Can somebody make me one of those? But like with Miles, where he's like, Sup, D? If you guys want to see more content like this, smack that face right up there to subscribe if you haven't already. Two goddamn videos right over there. Kiss me, you tiny little shit, so you have to.